Hello guys and what's up? Today we're not doing any giveaways, we're, we're not doing a vlog. Instead we're doing a custom keyboard build. Um, I, I got inspired by many YouTubers such as Hamajin Neo and Squatchy Boy because I wanted to try this out and I did. And so on my birthday on March 15th I spent $261 and ordered tools and parts to build a keyboard and in this video I'll show you what I did and how I built mine. So I hope you know. Okay, so to begin with we have the switches. Um, I bought 70 novelty creams off Amazon for $50.70. Um, and man, these are, these are nice. Um, I guess I'll just start with opening these up now. And as you can see in the background, my other desk is covered in keyboard parts, so... Yeah. Here's a low-key cream. It's pretty scratchy, but... Kind of nice. Okay, so... I'm gonna start off by lubing them. So I'll have to take them apart, so... I'll just go get my four bowls real quick. So now I have four Asian rice bowls. I'll just put them into four like this. And I'll be pretty much just separating the switches one by one into four different parts. I'll say the stem, top housing, bottom housing, and spring. So let's just begin that now. Um, I'll, head, I'll head over to my other desk and I'll just grab my key switch opener. And the pain will begin. And also I do have another keyboard up there, but I'll be for later. So starting off, we're going to open the very first switch. Uh, generally, this is really painful, but... I know I know this is tiring from watching Hamaji Neo, but... Oh god, it's stuck. God damn it. After opening this one switch, I'll probably just do like a time lapse for the rest. Uh, hopefully I didn't... Uh, So after about 20 minutes of struggling, I finally opened up 61 switches as I'm building my 60%. Um, and that is my mouse and keyboard. Um, I don't I don't need all switches because this is a 60% after all, so I'll put nine extra. And my hands are having like dead skin cells and it hurts a lot. So uh, during the process, I broke one switch pin, but then I fixed it by using this tool. So that'll be great. Um, next step, I would say bag lube the springs, so we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so next step, as we know, I'm gonna be bag lubing. I took broke the four Crytox Final 5, so I'm using super lube like Biotech, so. Just gonna grab the bag. And basically just dump all the springs in there. Ooh, I'm so good at this. Basically, what I'm supposed to do, I'm assuming, is squirt some super lube. How do you unscrew this? I can't get the seal. No, hold it. So, I guess I just squirt, according to Hippie Attack, I squirt about maybe 5 to 7, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Don't ask why I did 10. It's not a good amount, but. Okay. What I do now is close the bag, I'm assuming. Just get it all over the springs. And shake it for two minutes.
So next step is to obviously lube the bottom and bottom housing and springs. So I'll have to get the tools for that. What's up, uh, bag lube springs with super lube. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna need the stem holder to lube. What else? My lube and the, the correct size brushes, goddammit. Zero, two. Also, don't ask why there's bread on my desk. I was eating it and I forgot about it. I'll throw it away later. Also, I didn't buy a um, I didn't buy a loom station because I thought it'd be a waste of money since I'll use it once and never again. So, I have a key switch tester that I bought a month ago, and I can just use this as my loom station. So, I have nine cherry switches, and I'll just take them all out. So. God damn it, the keycap came off only. So for lube, I bought Crytox 205 Grade 2. Um, to all those keyboard lovers out there, yes, I am not using the right lube. You're supposed to use Crytox 205 Grade 0. But I couldn't find any, so I had to settle on Grade 2. So, lube that. I have some brushes and a lube and a stem holder, so nice. Alright, so I guess I'll just begin. As you can see here, I have, um, I guess I can lube my switches at a time, so let's give that a shot now. So I'm just gonna pop them in like this. Is this how you do it? I, my IQ is so low, but all right, I got it. Okay, so I got nine switches in the thing. That's got paper towels for the bag loop spring, so. I guess it dumped out the bag loop springs now, so move the bowls away. God damn it! Not sure if they're if they're actually ready, but I'm gonna eyeball it. Oh god, why, why did I touch it? Oh god, it smells so weird. God damn it, get out! There's just one spring that's stuck in there. Come on, get out. All right. So we got all the springs out. Got to put the bag away. There are my springs. Really as hell. So let's just begin with loop in the switch now so we'll grab my paintbrush and my tritox and I'll just uh, try so see what I do is like get some tritox on my brush I know this is too much but I'll spread it well, I just lube my very first switch now I have a shitload of more to go so I'm just doing like a time lapse so yeah let's enjoy that So I, I just lubed the first nine bottom housings and now I'll start lubing the stems now. So I have a stem, just gonna kind of just grapple it. Damn it, I didn't do it properly. Okay, so here's a stem and I'll just lube that now. Um, I forgot a step, I have to put the springs back on so i'll do, I'll do that so right i have just put the springs back on the lube ones and so far the bottom housing are lubed and the top screen is lubed so we have a lot more to go this is really uh stressing me out but you know this is pretty fun so yeah i'll go lube the first stem now Just lubed our first nine switches. 
That took a long ass time, so. Nine down, 52 more to go. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna be here for a while. So, after an hour of lubing, we finally lubed 61 switches. And so far, they're sounding actually way better than they did before at stock, and currently, I have a disaster on my desk, so... I don't know what to do next, but I think we should do the board. Well, I mean, stabilizer, so let's go do it. Okay, so next up, we have the board. This is the GK61 from Geek. I, yeah. Okay, so first we have the cable stabilizers and feet and other shit, I guess. Foam. And as you can see, it is the GK61. And the Chinese manual. Yippee. So let's just uh, pull everything out, shall we? Okay, so first of all, we have the PCB. I'm going to move this box away. It's a rather nice PCB, I guess. It's hot swappable with uh, RGB, so pretty nice actually. Move that away now. Um, we have the top plate. It is aluminum. It's brushed as well, so pretty nice. This will give me a nice typing experience and a nice sound overall. Um, also in the box. We have two metal feet with like rubber things in the bottom to prevent from stopping, but pretty heavy and hefty. Yeah. Not sure if I'll use them or not. And the most important part, the board. This is the GK61 aluminum in silver. Damn. Okay, this is... I could probably like, kill a man of this, but... Okay, sounds really good actually, so... Set that aside as well. And that's, uh, that's it for the box. Okay, so... My main attention is going to be the stabilizers. Um... I have to build them, and... Yeah, so let's actually dump out this bag. So, let's see, we have the stabilizers not built together. We have some screws and more screws. The cable, I'm not gonna use this foam. The feet for the bottom. And a pretty crappy switch puller. So, let's go build the stabilizers. Okay. This is gonna be hell. So as you can clearly see, these are not clipped, which means I have to clip them myself. Fuck. Whoa. So I'm done clipping the stabilizers. Yep, so I guess they're good to go. Um, I will be lubing these and doing wire balancing, but I, but then I'll have to test it later. But the problem is, to test it, I have to build the board, so let's do okay, that. Okay, so we're going to be building the board. So first of all, we need the PCB. Oh man, it's tiny! I'm so scared to break this phone. Oh shit, let's hit it. Oops. Um, it's a pretty sick looking board, foe. And the second step, you have to open the top plate with badass tape. 
Oh. Oh, okay. I think I just cut my finger a bit. Very nice overall, so. I'm assuming you have to line this up somehow. I think so. Right. I've been struggling for about 20 minutes, guessing what screws go where. In the meantime, I put the feet on the bottom. Another, another one ones yet, the, those feet. It's pretty sturdy. Um, I can't do the same lines yet because I can't figure out what screws go where, but I lined it up, so. I'll continue uh, eye guessing. Um, the next step, obviously, um, put foam. Okay, I know YouTubers put foam to make the sound better, so. Go, go over to my other desk. I have really cheap foam. I believe I can just cut this out and put me like one or two sheets, so clearly I'm just gonna choose a red color. I don't give a shit about these. Yeet. Okay, so I had to somehow cut this aside, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added foam, uh, five millimeters about. I Yeah, this is secured down, but this one isn't, but it should suffice enough, so got that done. Now we have to put the board in. This is pretty nice looking foam. Hopefully I didn't break anything, so. Let's just line it up carefully. And start screwing it in, so. I have this little thing of, oh shit. As you can see, kids, I am a dumbass. Okay, so we have the foam top plate and everything secured on. My my desk is currently a disaster, so pretty nice. Guess I'll start get started with stabilizers. So we're gonna lube them and do all the other uh, checklists that we have to do. So actually, yeah. screw the stabilizers. I forgot to put on the rubber feet on the bottom. So let's do that instead. Actually. Last one. And if you're wondering how long I've been working on this, about four hours. Okay, so I took my brother's iPhone 5S and now we'll do some wire balancing on it. Actually no, let's let's use the thing back. Okay, the space bar needs uh fixing there. This also needs fixing. I swear if they all need fixing, then I'm kind of screwed. And slight fixing. Not bad. I don't think you really need any fixing other than the space bar, so I think we're good. We want to bend it this way, so put in one stabilizer, put it in the other way, fuck, and just kind of just twist it. Ah, okay, that was a big fail. That should fix it.
there's the stem part and the bottom part. Still have got still have a lot of Crytox. Might start lubing these and then attaching it on. I'm not gonna do the space bar yet because it's still ruined, so figure that out. Even more junk on my desk. Very good. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna lube the wires next. Not the space bar, just these, and then touch it on. Put it on my board and use key use keycast on my other main keyboard. That one. And test it. Because I don't want to show the keycast I bought for this build yet. So Okay, so after testing the stabilizers, I think they're all set to go. I reassemble it to double check um, how, how the screws work. So it's going out pretty well, if, um, if I want to say. So I'm just double check about the screws, their tightness, because I hear some rattle in it. So I'll just tighten them real quick. Yep, no rattle anymore. So let's begin with putting the lube switches back. Yep, just gonna do a tell us for that. about almost eight hours of building i finally did it um not sure if it works if it doesn't i will be pretty sad but this is really good progress however my work area is insanely dirty and disgusting so i better uh clean that up so i'll be right back cleaning my work area i have plugged into the board with a random USB-C cable and I guess we'll start doing a test. Looking good. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, looks like we have a broken key, fuck. Okay, so this is this is a sixty percent. So by the looks of it, we have that key is broken and that key is broken. That's nine and semicolon. Okay. Um, I'll fix that later. So you might be wondering, keycaps. I never showed it, so I'll do it now. Bang. So these are actually I don't I I don't I don't, I don't even know the brand. I just. Bought a uh, white blank keycaps off Amazon for 18 bucks. It was on sale. Uh, they're blank PBT keycaps, and I chose white to match the brighter theme. So let's just unbox it. This is pretty shit packaging, but a pretty nice set. And I guess I got another keycap holder. This is like my fifth one. I don't know. I have, I, I have a lot of them now. So let's set that aside. And whoa, look at that, it's the keycap set. Okay, now let's unbox it.
that the board came with this cable. Am I gonna use it? Well, it's kind of nice, but no, I'm not because it's decently ugly. So instead of that stock cable, I'm gonna get this. A coiled cable because I'm a nerd. So let's just unbox it. All right, move G502. Move away, board. Also, this thing is like really heavy. I don't want to weigh it at all. Okay, so let's just unbox the cable. I already cut off the plastic that I never should put inside, so. Oh, yes. I didn't moan. Huh, it's pretty nice. Oh, well, damn, this is a, this is a nice cable. Let's see what it comes inside it. As you can see, here's a little thank you note and some pretty nice stickers. Not gonna use them. All right, I'm just gonna repackage this, I guess. And save the box. Hey, look at that. The back has nice yeah. updates. It looks great. I mean, it, the distance is a little far, but overall, it's pretty great. I'm uh, not sure how this is gonna be dealt with, but I'll deal with it later. Um, now that I have this set up, let's just do a sound test, I guess. Um, you viewers know that I play a lot of Nitro Type, and I am really fast, so let's enjoy the sounds of this keyboard. So it's been, so I've been using this keyboard for about two to three days and so far it's been really enjoyable. Um, it sounds amazing and it feels amazing. I mean, the 65 grams of force is a little heavy for me, but I, I, I've gotten used to it and I'm getting used to the 60% layout as no arrow keys. I have to press F and to get it back, but um, I, overall for the switches, they sound really creamy. Well, my mic doesn't pick that up, but if you were in person, you would hear the creaminess. Um, for, as for stabilizers, I think I did a really good job. It has that really crisp, crisp noise on the bottom of force and doesn't have that rattle, rat, rattleness or hollowness. So, great job. I think the phone was a good idea. And overall, I think this is a great board. I mean, it's really heavy, but, you know. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.